I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Drake. And this is Corinne. Good morning. I hope some of you are rejoining us since I invited you on Monday to come back and watch today. And I want to remind you first before we start, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done that already. Like the video, share them with your friends. I ask that when you share them, you share them directly from YouTube. I hate being so specific, but I want you to do it the right way so you look cool, you know? So today we're going to talk about, like we, talk, like we talked about, seeing green. Yes. Green. Money. Leprechauns. Money, money, oh, money. Money. No, money, money, money. I don't see much green. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're going to get some ideas on how I can, though. Right. So if you're looking for some fun, creative ways to raise money for CNA Fest, CNA Week will be coming up, or even a community project that mm. your leadership team may be thinking about, um, we have some ideals for you. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Fundraising. I've always had great ideas for fundraising, but I've never actually done them. So we'll see some of the ideas. Well, we can do inside your facility. You could do a bake sale. Um, breakfast is a big one. That is a great mm -hmm. idea, actually. Our administrator used to cook us breakfast, not to raise money, but he used to cook us breakfast once every other month. He'd come in. We actually did a St. Patrick's Day um, breakfast. So we had a little bit of green gravy. We also had the white gravy. We had fried potatoes. We had biscuits. and then Green we, the gravy? Yeah. It was actually really good. It I would think good. green eggs. Mm -hmm. nope. Green eggs and ham. Nope. We just did the easiest. I do not like you, Sam. I am. Anything that can go in a crock pot. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we actually called it um, Knock of Your Belly Out Cafe. Mm. And then so that was a fundraiser? That was a fundraiser on St. Patrick's Day. And then you can also do a 50-50. Yes. Um, a silent auction. You could sell t-shirts, um, basket raffles, or a quilt. And we also do a pie in the face. They did that at a building in Springfield, actually, mm -hmm. recently. So if you want to get your administrator back pretty good by hitting her the I, pie That in was going to be my suggestion. If you do the mm -hmm. pie in the face thing, you want to put something up in your building with three pictures. Mm -hmm. The DON, the administrator, <laughs> and HR usually work in most buildings. I've always thought very highly of those people in my buildings, but it works just because of the title. And then you want to put three, three milk jugs, let's say, with their picture on the front. Mm -hmm. And whatever one ends up with the most money in it, that's who's going to get the pie in the face. And hopefully they'll be really good sports and they'll just let... Every three, all three people get pied because they're participating anyways. But I've always thought that was a good idea. And then I wanted to go to the basket. So a lot of companies can donate to things like this for baskets. Um, I can say specifically one that I got a donation from was AutoZone. And, you know, you do these themed baskets. So like mm -hmm. auto care themed basket and you auction it off. So in the front, you're putting no money in because it's all donations, and then you can put what's raised towards your right. funding towards CNA Fest. Other places like indoor go-kart racing, that was somewhere at home that donated tickets to a basket I did. Our local theater did. Our movie theater did. So you actually have to call, ask these places, let them know what you're doing, and get donations from them for your baskets. So then you can sell the baskets to, uh, not sell them, you can auction them off to raise money for your CNA Fest funding. Right. Um, and then for your community, if you want to get out and involve mm -hmm. your community, you can do car wash. Uh, pumping for tips is, is a good oh, one. Oh, pumping gas. I see people doing that at mm -hmm. home at hy V's often. Yeah. And then you can do a lemonade stand. Uh, you have yard sales. And you can also do a babysitting clinic with the local hospital. And if you do that, that's one way to get your CNAs and your patient care technicians to come over to NACA and join. Oh. And then you can also wrap gifts at the mall or Walmart or Target yeah. or 
anywhere. And then um, you can have a barbecue. But whatever fundraiser you choose to do, um, do it with pride and mm -hmm. be, please be professional. Don't be, don't be rude out in the community. Don't right. be bickering among the people that you're, that's on your team trying to put on this fundraiser. <laughs> and um, wear a NACA t-shirt or a facility t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. You want to have something they can identify you by. If you have other ideas for fundraisers, please feel free to comment them on here. Post them in any of our NACA pages that you may be in. I've had some people reach out to me. I know there are some companies that do fundraisers. I'm not sure the percentage you get. World's Finest Chocolate being one, you know. You probably remember your kids doing it or yes. your grandson. Mm -hmm. Anyone can actually do those. You could do them personally. You could do them as a group. So I Google often, you know, fundraiser ideas. And it'll give me company ideas, but then it'll give you ideas like this. Bake sale is always a good one. Have your bake sale on payday. Mm -hmm. I would suggest any of these fundraisers, have them on payday when you know your peers are going to actually have a few extra dollars to spend. When we did a bake sale, we never just did it one day. We'd do it payday and then the day, two days after. Car wash, you know, we'd make big signs right. and pointing people into our nursing home. That's a good way to get your residents engaged. Get your residents out there. Some will help. Some will just want to watch. When the community sees that you're involving your residents, they'll be more right. prone to actually stop mm -hmm. and participate. Yeah. And make sure everything is, and when you do do a bake sale, make sure it's wrapped. Everything yes. is labeled. And it's a good idea to have some sugar-free yeah, yeah. items. And Maybe gluten-free. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be having um, the bake sale inside your facility, um, kind of separate some of your stuff. Like, so you don't want all of your stuff to be sold on day shift when you have yes, evening shift yes. that's coming in. Think about your other shifts, third shift as well. Right. And then maybe even leave a little box for money for third shift if someone's not going to be there. Often the receptionist or concierge will handle the money for the bake sale during the daytime. But think of what you're going, where they're going to put the money at night. Don't just leave the table up with nowhere for them to put the money. Right. Because then you may run into some issues. So have a little box, old Kleenex box, money for bake sale, milk jug. I'll keep resorting back to anything that you can just sit there and let them put their money in. Right, exactly. And if you have some of your um, co-workers that are baking your cupcakes, your brownies and stuff, when your bake sale is over with, it would be a good idea to just write a little thank you. You don't yeah, have to I write agree. a thank you note to every single person, but at least post something and say thank you for your support and for your mm -hmm. donation. And as always, before you set up any fundraisers, uh, make sure this is okay in your facility and make sure it's okay that you're out in the community as well. Yep. Yippee. Well, I think those are some good ideas and mm -hmm. hopefully you guys will start seeing some green pour in for your CNA Fest registration. Again, if you have any questions, post on the website, reach out to us so we can get them answered. And if you have any other ideas about fundraisers, also share them on the pages so your fellow members can know. And I just remembered something. I'm going to call out Sheena Bumpus because they did a fundraiser for Valentine's Day and we never did get our chocolate covered cherries. Our mm, strawberries. Strawberries. I wouldn't have wanted those in the mail. Well, I don't know. But Edible arrangement saying, sent them in the mail. I've never had one of those. I've seen the I got commercial. them for my birthday last year. <laughs> maybe someday someday all right well so that's what we got for yeah. today yep so until um friday yes remember that you matter <laughs>